Welcome to the summer events Ocean 11 and this one will be looking at the Ocean Festival and the Fist Master Arrival, the aftermath. So the Ocean 11 has a number of different areas in it, very nicely put together. You have the Gourmet Station, the Lucky Flip, Summer Island, Sign in Rewards, 7 Days Offer, Festival Weekly Pass, the Ocean Packs, the Special Store and the Ocean Quests and finally the Ocean Gift and of course you have the Skin Pack, the new skin for the Baron, look at that skin, look at him in battle, it's a very cool cyberpunk skin and it does add to his overall power, very nice, very cool. So the first thing you would do of course is go to the Sign In Rewards, first thing collect the Sign In Rewards. Second thing, go to the summer land and enjoy your, <laughs> your cold drink and using it to fill up the bar. The more you fill up the bar, the more you'll be able to get the resources on the right hand of the screen. Then you have the seven days offer. The direction is to purchase the seven chests and by purchasing them, you will get the four faction S plus hero selection shards. Also the soda you will be using to fill up the bar. Next, the festival weekly pass, you will collect the daily pack. And then you'll move across the ocean pack and the store pack. The ocean pack offers you the ability to buy different resources that can help you in the game, including the upper upper quality one, the S plus hero relics choice card. You can either go for the S plus card or the S plus hero relic. Then the special store also offers you a number of things at a discounted price, including if you're going after upgrading one of your evil artifacts, the source of evil for a discounted price. Ish. Then you have the 6 star universal stigmata optional pack here and there is also the 2 star gym chests and for a cheaper cheaper price 100 of the light of divine. There is also the cheapest one available the random chest of uru which can give you up to 50 urus the ultimate reward. Now part of what we are interested in is the diamond pack exchanging by your blue diamonds for the resources available here including some good ones like common summon scrolls and excellent faction scrolls. After that you'll be looking at directly going to the ocean quests and you need to fulfill the quests by actually matching the condition. Whether it's pick up the fifth chest or battle 10 times in the arena, defeat Star Trek boss once, you'll be able to do it by just clicking on go and it will take you directly to where the quest is. This is the daily arena. After you've completed a number of the quests again and again, you'll be collecting the lovely random food ingredient pack, which you're going to be using actually after unlocking it to make the gourmet food. The gourmet food has another completely nice section, section we'll look at just now. Okay, so before we carry on, there is also the ocean gifts. The ocean gifts pretty much if you purchase it fully, it will give you a totality of 210 chests of Uru, 70 excellent faction scrolls, 70 advanced recast tool kit, and VIP experience 2500. Each day after you purchase it, it will give you this specific amount for 14 days, 15 chests of Uru, 5 faction scrolls, and 5 of the advanced recast tool box, which can help you in recasting your equipment. Skin pack wise, we're looking at the usual same price. It will give you a portrait image that you can actually select, and it will give you the skin for the Baron. Now, going back to the Gourmet Station and the Lucky Flip, let's do first the Gourmet Station. First, we'll go into our bag, and after that, we'll go directly into the random selection of ingredients. We're going to open all six. After that, we're going to go back to the event of the Ocean Festival. I like to call it Ocean Eleven. Okay, so you have the ice cream and you have the chicken nugget and you have the cookie. At the same time, you have the shop where you can exchange by using the coins, the deluxe coins you gain from making the food, the gourmet food, for these nice looking resources. You have common summon scrolls, faction scrolls, chests of Uru and also Universal Stigmata optional pack and at the top you have S plus Hero Relic custom card and S plus Hero Choice card. Very good things to actually go for. You also have the trade functionality like usual in the game by initiating a trade with another player. 
Aside from that, you have the leadership board, which shows how many coins you actually were able to achieve. And the ledger, that's just a collection of your total earning. So this one is a little bit different because you have make and auto make. If you click on make, which I advise, you'll see that there is a specific bar and you're supposed to press on make when the bar is at the yellow-ish or orange looking uh, curve. By doing that, it actually adds to the amount of coins you gain by another 60. This, this 60 actually can be below this, so try to hold your finger and press it in the right area on the curve. So that adds another 60 to the 500 that we gain automatically. Now if you click on it in the wrong area, you'll not get the ordinary, uh, you'll not get the cuisine reward. You'll either get the ordinary or above it, so 10, 20 and 60 is additional things you can gain. Now that we finished our resources, we can actually exchange the flower by clicking on initiate exchange and then clicking on you will give selecting the flower and selecting the resource that we want let's assume for instance you want one chicken leg and then you can click on send it to your union or send it to friends the chicken leg will help us again to make the chicken nugget and then you will try to exchange another time now in looking at the leadership board after doing this we're at 159 and very low in comparison to the top players which is sad but we'll get there now that we actually did some exchanges we have some coins that allow us to exchange for a number of resources it's better to save up until you get the s plus hero relic custom card or the four faction s plus hero selection and then go for the lower tier and stuff now for the lucky flip it's very simple you get three attempts by clicking on start you have to select the cards that look the same the portrait that looks the same by selecting the top three which is the surfing board you will get 100 diamonds and in addition you will get one of the food ingredient selection pack so you can get three the additional difference is just the diamonds if you're lucky enough to press on the areas that the skateboard uh, sorry the surfing board can be like this so you get the x100 in addition to the selection of the ingredient okay now we're gonna go into the second one and one and two and we're hoping for three okay so we got the x50 the second one unfortunately we didn't get the 100 but it doesn't matter really it's just blue diamonds okay let's start the last cycle and the one and the two three four right we got it x100 great so now we have three chests pretty much that we can use so we're going to be using one for chocolate for the sake of this video you would go into your bag again and then you would select here the food ingredient selection pack you would select the item that you want okay we got the chocolate then we would go back to the gourmet station and now we have two and we can actually make another one press it perfectly in the yellow section and we got the perfect cuisine reward 60 plus the 500 now that takes us directly in the ranking to 123 looking at the shop we have more now and we can actually exchange at least for the chest of uru we're gonna carry on in keeping it for now Again, you're going to be repeating this again and looking at any resource you have, try to exchange for one by trading and use the other one of selection. So we're going to go for another piece of chocolate. Let's select chocolate again and then use. After you've selected it, back to the gourmet station, back to the cookie and back to making and voila perfect in the right place and that gives you the perfect cuisine reward of 60 by doing that last move we actually have more cuisine coins now and we have reached the ranking of 106 now we should try at least to get to the ranking of 21 to 50 at least or in the top 100 minimum at least because it's achievable now with the amounts we have it's almost coming close to 8 Okay, and then we can actually start considering what we might exchange for and that would be it when it comes to looking at 
the summer event ocean festival gourmet station all these icons that you see here you can actually just move across from entering into any one of them and do remember to always check your ocean quests so you can actually gain the ingredients and the ticket the lottery ticket by getting that lottery ticket if you go to the shop and scroll down you'll find that there is the soda that you can exchange for let's go into exchanging for a number of the sodas available okay so we exchange for all the amounts of soda available for the first section of the event the event lasts for 16 days uh, sorry 14 days first cycle is half and then the second one is the remaining okay so we got to the first exchange point which actually does make a difference and now we have to select between two things either the four faction core s hero choice card or the s relic card let's do change here okay actually you cannot change it okay let's let's see can it be changed no okay let's click on okay and take it i think it offers you both options and you select after you unlock it all right let's go and actually look at that selection card okay perfect you can select it actually here after you gain it and we'll gain the s hero relic custom card for this one let's look at what hero we will go with and if we're looking at Houston she can use some additional relics if we're looking at Lady Ivy she doesn't have any relics which is unfortunate if we're looking at Space Monkey he has only one relic let's go with Houston she benefits us in other parts of the game so the selection can be Houston but one last thing before doing that let's check on Blaze Centaur he can benefit also but let's do Houston okay and let's select Houston and voila we have an additional relic let's go to the relics of Houston and then let's refine and select the same relic to actually upgrade it to T1 all right guys thank you so much for tuning into this one the next video will have the fist master arrival